What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Hi, hello. I look like I'm about to go for a drive. <laughs> so I am in rainy Kent, Washington. If you're from Kent, comment. I want to know because your girl's from there too. Let me turn down the, the heat because I feel like it's probably just like a blow. Um, I'm cold. It decided to rain today and I don't have any warm clothes because our movers have still not come to Miami and the only thing I had from California I packed was this warm jacket. I'm about to head to Target, my childhood Target, and try and find a jacket because it's cold. Um, but fam, I have this like weird dry skin patch. I'm also like maybe gonna use aquifer. I don't know. Comment below what to do about dry skin patches. But I promised you a reveal of where I grew up. So I figured why not get this vlog started? It's basically a Kent vlog, yo. What's up? Kentwood? Went to Kent? Kent? Went to Madsen? What up? We're gonna spend the night at my friend Maddie's. Her parents still live in Kent. So yeah, it's just a Kent day. I honestly haven't been back in my hometown in a hot minute. Probably years. Probably like four years at least. I don't even know. Like I go sometimes if friends have weddings. But that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to YouTube channel and let's get started. I just went and met my mom at Kent Station and we went to this place called Wild Wheat. It was a breakfast place we used to go to when I was younger. Then we loved to go to Dilettante at this place called Kent Station. And let me tell you, I'm at Kent Station right now. Fam, fam, my first date was at Kent Station. How old was I? Eighth grade? Oh, you can even see, I'm dry right here. Dry right here. Look at that, oh yeah. Love how 50,000 people can see that right now. But yeah, so Kent what, uh, Kent Station was my first date. Eighth grade boyfriend. He was a seventh grader, I was an eighth grader. Always going for the younger men, hence Michael's younger. Ayo, no, really, I don't know how that works. But yeah, I went and saw a movie. I remember he put his arm around me and somehow he punched me in the head when he attempted to. And that was my, my experience with the first date and pretty much set the bars bar high for the rest of my dates going on. Um, but yeah, funny, so we're at Kent Station, where that was, and it was this place we used to hang out. We used to go see a movie, we used to go to Justice. Do you guys remember Sparkly Jeans? If not, that's okay, fast forward. <laughs> but okay, so let's head to Target, and then we're gonna go stop and see see my, my home, my old home. Be fun. So Kent, let me give you a little tour. Kent is like, there's a top hill and there's a bottom of the hill. And that was Kent. And we're going up the top hill where I grew up. And coming on the left will be a stadium that our high school played football at. Holler. Here it was. Woo, okay. I just logged my mother's cat litter for our cat. I didn't realize how much cat litter would weigh. I was that girl taking breaks in Target just to carry cat litter. So, also, I was like in the woman's section and this girl kept eyeing me and I was like, and she was like, hi, I watch your YouTube videos, I'm Caitlin. So I was like, wow, you're so cool. I was like, Caitlin, we're from the same hometown. I was like, this is my stomping grounds, good old Target, but Caitlin, if you're watching, hey, hello, lovely meeting you. So, I got hairspray. I got Aquifer, I got Sensodyne, because I was already out. So for Kayla's rehearsal dinner, I wanted to wear, I had this really cute green dress from White Fox, but it was so fancy and it's cold, it's rainy, and I, I don't know why, in my, in my brain it was Miami. So I got a plaid skirt, it was really cute, and I also found a couple crop tops. If you wear like a bra with them, prime. Um, and then I'm gonna wear sh like a white shirt over it. I'm like more of a plain Jane gal, but I like some color, and that way I can also wear a sweater because it's freaking cold here. So that's the plan. Let's put some aquifer on this mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> Not this mouth. Put aquifer on the dry spot. Hopefully it helps. I'm sweating from that cat litter. Wow. I just assumed because when in doubt, aquifer it out. Does anyone else love aquifer? I don't know why. They only had tiny little tubes, but great for traveling. Thank God we wear masks, cause this looks awful. I'm just gonna leave it. Now we're gonna go to Old Navy and try and find cardigans, so. She's a mess!
Guys, this was my house. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Okay, I feel creepy because clearly someone's home, but they still have the tarp. My dad had a boat growing up and he built this like tarp thing. It used to be a garden and then it became a tarp, like storage thing. And there used to be a basketball hoop that's gone. Same color, same green Washington color. Also like, I wonder, we're gonna get out, we're gonna get out. Let's do it, let's be creepy. Let's be creepy. Oh my gosh, do you ever just have like memories flood? So. Oh, my grandpa and my dad built like a playground for my brother and I and I think they took it down. But the backyard was stunning. If you can see, if you can see, it was like a secluded backyard. So I just got creeped out and I realized they're freaking squirrels. I thought they were like humans. Side note, everyone in this neighborhood was old. The woman that lived next to us, her car is still here and she was like 90 when I was 10. I know she passed away, but I think her son moved here and still has her car. Still, it has been like, I don't even know, over six years since we've lived here, maybe? That's crazy. Also, so we had a house fire and this house burned down and it took like about two years to rebuild and there was a babysitter with us at the time when it burnt down and her parents still live here. That's crazy as well. Wow, you guys, let me know if you think this is interesting. I think it's interesting and I'm gonna keep it for my own memories. But yeah, this was a stomping ground. So we lived at the very top of a hill. It was the last house on the hill and it was a very safe neighborhood. I mean, I loved it growing up. There was a lot of places to play at, but it's like weird. It feels like home. Like I feel like I should just get out and just go in my house and like my dad would be there, but it's not home. Okay, let's head to Maddie's, but I wish I could explore more, but someone's home. Also, that's illegal. All right, hello, good morning. I am back in Miami. I actually kind of just logged off during the entire like rest of the trip just to Take it all in, it was beautiful watching my friend Kayla get married again. She actually got married in her backyard because of COVID. And then they did like the actual ceremony and reception this time. It was so much fun. I don't really have that many photos, but it was gorgeous and it rained the entire time. But honestly, I thought it was perfect and beautiful. And it was at this place called Kelly Farms. And it was stunning. But I got a Gymshark package. So I wanted to show you guys some new releases because I always do. I always keep you in the loop. I don't know when they drop, but I'm even wearing one right now. It's definitely a cozy season for Gymshark. Also side note, guys, look at this Bruce. Okay, get this. Got my eyelashes done by one of my gal pals in Washington. Loved it, but I think my forehead is so sensitive. Just her pressing on my forehead and doing my eyelashes. She's got a big bruise. Look like Harry Potter. Okay, I wanted to show you some new colors and sweaters and bralettes. So, I have never owned these bralettes. I always wanted to, especially before my breast augmentation because I think it's really flattering on smaller boobies. So, I've got so many colors in these. I'll definitely put it on and show you, but I have a white one, which goes with anything. I have a green one. I literally slept in these um, yesterday because they're so comfy, but cute green one. And then I have kind of like a gray one. I truly stocked up on these colors. So darn cute. So, and then I also have a black one, but I love the thin strap and I love the straight across and then the little subtle logo. I just think it's really cute. I don't know if I would like hardcore workout in these because I don't think they're very supportive, which is why I think they're great for smaller busty gals. Um, but I do love to wear them from time to time and it's more of like an athleisure, maybe upper body day where you're not bouncing around. Also, they are coming out with bralettes and I'm so stoked. Look at this color. It's super cute. I'm wearing one right as we speak. Okay, so I'm wearing like kind of more of a neutral color. So darn cute. So, so you can see there's two different types of supportiveness is that even the proper term but you have a padding right here and then you also have this full coverage super cute i've 
I mean, I've been wearing it all day today because it's just so casual. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> but don't know when they're coming out. So they have this color that I received as well. Then Gymshark is coming out with seamless undies. I think they've already had them, but I never owned a pair. I'm so excited. Love the nude colors because they go with anything. And these are like my go-to. I love seamless underwear for working out in general. I'm just not someone that goes commando. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here is the sports bra kind of like bralette that I've been talking about. So darn cute. Let me show you the side profile. Who is she? Who is she? Love it. I just love the thin straps. I love the crossover. So cute. I also received new flex. I'm not sure if these are new colors, honestly. I know I already have this pair, um, but I've never owned this pair and I am here for the yellow. I feel like yellow is making a comeback. As for what I'm wearing at this very moment, they are coming out with new sets, new like baggy sets, and I'm here for it, okay? I'm wearing like this beautiful, I don't know the correct color, but it's like cobalt, 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 blue. So pretty. They're coming out with like athleisure types of full sets so we've got shorts i wore these last night i'm actually wearing a gray pair right now i'll stand up and show you and then they have these crew necks i wear the men's crest crew neck and this is what it reminds me of they're baggy so this is a small you can honestly size you can honestly size up if you wanted to make it like really baggy and then they're also coming out with baggy t-shirts here you can see the gymshark logo right there also baggy i'm here for it i've never met I'm never met they're dropping a brown. We got a brown with brown shorts. We love a good brown set. Then I'm wearing gray, and I also got a gray crew neck. Never mad. And then look at this beautiful, like, peachy, pink salmon-y. I said all of the colors. This one's really cute as well. Look how comfy that is. Extra small bottoms, small top. She's here for it, never mad. Catch me wearing this all day, every day, okay? <laughs> so I just wanted to keep you updated on the new releases. Once I know more, I will be sure to tell you, so stay tuned. I hope you liked this vlog. I hope you liked seeing my Washington things. Please let me know if you did. With that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe to YouTube channel, and I will see you next time.